Hi, everybody. Hello, how are you? Good, good. How are you? I'm pretty good, thank you. Good, good. Excellent. Um, so today, if you noticed, uh, you didn't um, have to wait for me to come to uh, let you in. You could just go directly, which is wonderful because um, that way you can go into the cl classroom whenever you want. Okay. Because uh, actually, um, yesterday, I, unfortunately, I, I hadn't noticed that I think one of the, the students was there waiting and I hadn't noticed for a while that she was waiting. So today it will be, um, starting from today, you are able to um, join the class at any moment, okay? Hi, everybody. Okay, so I think, okay. Hi. Hi, teacher, good, good evening. evening. How are you? Just finished the dinner. Finishing dinner. Mm, okay, good. What did you have for dinner? Um, egg with with cheese and and some bread. Carrots? Did you say carrots with cheese? No, uh, eggs with cheese. Sorry, I didn't understand the what 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 with cheese? Eggs. Oh, eggs. Okay, okay. I was gonna yeah. say that's an interesting recipe. I thought carrots with cheese. That's 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 very interesting. <laughs> but okay, all right. So eggs with cheese. Okay, that makes more sense. Much more sense. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Yeah. Okay. Um, did every everybody has had dinner now? Everybody have your stomach full? Yes? Yes. Okay, <laughs> good. Good, good, good. Okay, excellent. Uh, and what did you have to eat, Raphael? Sorry? What did you have to eat? Well, um, I don't know how to describe them, but they are like Ah, well, I think our chilaquila. Oh, okay. Yes, with cheese and loroco. Yeah, chilaquilas are uh, like, um, kind of similar to a pupusa, let's say. Yeah. But they are fried um, and, and instead of cooking the the tortilla with the, the um, ingredients inside, first you make the tortilla and then you put the stuffing inside. Yeah. But yeah, so wow, that that sounds delicious. Okay. Yes, I like it. Yeah, no kidding. And what about the rest of you guys? You already had dinner. What did you eat? What did you have for dinner? Class. Hi. Hi. I like to to prepare the uh, a pizza. A pizza, with, uh, uh, like a Arabe Arabe bread. Okay, so pita pita bread. A pita bread, pita bread. Ah, okay, it's a, okay. It's, a, it's, a, it's very easy because you only need to buy a the sauce and, mm -hmm. and you put the 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 other ingredients, mm, yeah. whatever you want. Yeah, that's it's true. Only, only you to to inside to the to the uh, arm, and you only to wait to to the all ingredient is is ready to eat. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. It's very, it's very, it's very easy. It's not too expensive. Yeah, that's true. Oh. Yeah, easy yeah. and cheap and delicious. Yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> Which is it, what it, we it, always... it, 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 It's yeah. the most important. Yeah, yeah. the most very definitely good. the most important part, Samuel. <laughs> I agree with you. Yes. Okay. All right, guys. Um, eh, I 
Well, first of all, welcome to today's class. Uh, good evening to everybody. Um, well, I'm glad to see that uh, the majority of you guys um, have already connected. And I was mentioning for the people that just joined, um, I already um, asked for you guys to um, be able to join the class without me having to give you permission to enter um, so that you are able to to connect whenever you want, okay? So from now on, um, the only thing is that you cannot, I believe you have to wait until, I think, oh, well, actually, I don't know if you have to wait. Um, well, the thing is that, yeah, at, at nine o'clock it should be open, okay? So um, so you can join at any moment. Okay, um, so did everybody see the homework? that I sent on the WhatsApp group. Everybody saw the picture that I sent? Yes, I, yes. in my case I saw I saw them but I couldn't do it, sorry, because I've been working it. during the day. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Um for the people that um didn't see it, I'm going to show you right now what it looks like. Um so I'm going to show you right now. Tell me if you can see my my uh, if you can see my screen, and or better said, when you can see my screen. Let me know. Yes, we can see. Okay, good, excellent. So um, here in my screen, um, you will have there are basically ten sentences. Um, five that I have divided with relative pronouns as subjects and five with relative pronouns as objects. And just like I showed you yesterday, what we're gonna be doing is uh, we're going to be combining these two sentences to make one sentence and you have to combine it using the word who, that, or which, okay? So what I'm gonna do, uh, some of you already have the answers some of you don't because you haven't had the opportunity to. Uh, but this picture is in the WhatsApp group anyways. Um, so um, you should be able to, to see it there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do at this moment, I'm gonna divide you guys into groups so that you can um, do the exercises or if you already did it, then you can share your answers, compare um, and see if you have the same idea. Okay, so okay. let me start making the groups. Um, Are you going to share, share out the, the, the sentence? Uh, um, I already did. I shared it in the WhatsApp group. Okay, so we have to see them in the WhatsApp? Yeah, exactly. Okay. You should, you, do you have your, your, your WhatsApp nearby? Yes, I'm going to bring my cell phone, sorry. Okay, okay. Yeah, go ahead and do that. That's not a problem. Um, so right now okay. I'm going to divide you guys into groups, small groups. And um, when when I, I'm going to send the invitation for you guys to join the, the breakout rooms, you go to your small groups and you share your answers. And then we're going to come back and compare the answers. Um, so let's see, let's see. Um, Okay. All right. So I have, oh, hold on. I'm going to give you, so I'm going to give you some time there and um, you should be set. Okay. So right now I have assigned the rooms so you can go ahead and join the the group. Um, let's see. We have. Um, let's see.
Do you have, are you having any problems joining? Can't. Correct. Or you can use also who, right? Instead of that. That. You can put black, black. No, no, no. Don't don't erase. You can put black and put who also. Okay. Right. I, yes. What I, do you think about it? I think it's good. I'm not sure. Yes, because she said that we can use that and who for persons. Right. Do you remember it, that? Yes, I remember, but. Well, oh. uh, the money is in the kitchen. The money belongs to John. Okay. The money, the money which is in the kitchen belongs to John. The money which is in the kitchen belongs to John. That's excellent. Very good. Very good, Rachel. <laughs> Um, yes, and it's because, yeah, no, I, I'm glad you did that because if you notice, uh, you're not just, it's not just about putting them together and saying, oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to eliminate the, the period and, and, and just put which or who. It's not just about that. It's also about understanding where you're going to um, insert the other information. In this case, yes. um, it, the money which belongs to John so here, the belongs to John has to go right after the money, not after the kitchen, right? Okay. So that's correct. Very good. Do you have any? Is in this way. Yeah. The money which belongs to John is in the kitchen. Yeah. It is correct in that way. Um. Yeah, that's fine. Teacher, in this case, after John. Uh, don't we need a coma? The money which belongs to John is in the kitchen. It's not necessary. Yeah, exactly. The money which belongs to... Uh, hold on. The money... It's like, it's like a, a little pause when you read it. I don't know. Um, the money actually, which no. belongs to John... No. No, because you're, what you're okay. doing is you're identifying you're identifying uh, which money. So that is part of okay. the It's not giving any extra information. It's identifying which money. So that's correct. Okay. Okay. Any questions? Okay. About that number? Um, I have a question. I'm not sure about the number four and the number five. It is correct. Or we have to change something. Um, or it could be the mother. That, that's, oh. a, that's okay. The number, yeah, number four sounds, sounds okay. Not a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's okay. The number five? And number five. I don't know if it is the same, the television that yeah. was yeah. both 20. 
Yeah, no, that's correct. the television that was yes. bought 20 years ago was it stolen? No, that's that's fine. That's fine. The, the television okay. that was stolen was bought. No, no. But the other was is, is I think, think is, is like I think um, actually it, it works. The two the two forms are okay. You could say the television that was stolen was bought 20 years ago, or you can say the television that was bought 20 years ago was stolen. Um, the, the two forms are okay, and the reason is because it depends on what you are um, what you are identifying. Are you identifying that the, that it's the television that was stolen that that television you're talking about, or is it the television that was about 20 years ago, right? So um, it, it really depends on what you want to identify. Mm -hmm, but that's fine. Both of them are okay. Do you have any other questions? Mm -hmm. I have some questions with this, but I don't know if we can decide it with Raphael and then we can ask you. Sure, so yeah, you, you can, can help. go ahead and ask for um, help as well. So if you guys um, are needing help, you can just request the help and I will come back and join you, okay? Okay. 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 I'll go, I'm gonna go and help the other groups. Okay, okay. thank you very much. All right. Okay. Okay, Rafael. What do okay. you think about number one? The car was stolen. My father gave me the car. I have some doubts. The in car. The okay. I think I'm going to say that I think. Well, I think that you the, what you wrote, the car that my father gave me was. Okay, and in this sentence, my father who gave me the car was stolen. Class, it, do you have any questions that you want to ask me, guys? Yes, I have a question with the number number four. Relative pronoun as a subject in the number Acceptor. four. Okay, number four, huh? I think the answer is the table, which was my grandmother's, got broken. I don't know if it's correct. And you're absolutely right. Yeah, that's right. The table uh, that was my grandmother's got broken. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, Perfect. that's fine. Exactly. Because you are, what you're doing is you're giving information, you're identifying the table, you're giving, uh, you're, you're modifying or giving more information about the table. So the extra information has to be there after the in the table. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Any other questions that you guys have? No? Oh. Okay, if you have any questions, then you can uh, you can go ahead and um, and ask for help and I will come back, okay? Okay, okay. okay thank you. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. That's correct. I, I use which? Which? Ah, oh, yes, which. Uh -huh. okay. Which? Because you're talking about uh, a thing. Yeah, a, a car, thing. Right? A car. Uh, a, Yes. The next one, somewhere. Somewhere. The, the next one is the, the man was arrested. I reported the man to the police. Uh, 
the man was arrested. Who, who reported the man to the police? Because the man, you talking about, about the man. A person. Any questions that you guys have? Anything I can help you with? Um, only the, the, for example, we are talking the, about only person in this sentence. Yeah, he's a, like a, the, the, the thief. Mm -hmm. Yes was arrested. I reported the man to the police. So do you have questions that you want to ask me? Only, I I, I think, for example, in, 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 in some case, it's, it's not necessary to put the, for example, if the, I want to use which or who, it's not necessary to put again the subject. Uh, no, you you definitely have to eliminate the subject. Yeah. You, uh, because yeah. the which or who replaces the subject. So it's not yeah. just that it's not necessary, it's not uh, appropriate. Independent is, uh, for example, in the subject is uh, at the end of the sentence or in middle or... yeah you can put the you can put the um the relative clause in the middle or at the end it doesn't really matter but it has okay. to be after the thing that you are given the information about ah, okay. okay 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 that is a is a in in, in different position mm -hmm. okay okay any other questions no no, no. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, and number two, uh, I think is uh, the man was arrested. Was arrested. That I reported to the police. Uh, this group seems to be very quiet, so I'm just wondering if you guys understand what to do or you have questions. I have a question. Yeah? Uh, where we are going to put uh, the relative pronouns uh, uh, the relative pronoun has to go at the beginning of the relative clause and the relative clause you put it directly after the thing that you're giving information about um, so that means that um, that uh, you can put it anywhere. You can put it the, in the middle or at the end of the sentence, but it has to be directly after the thing you're describing. Does that make sense? Yes, uh, that that sounds sounds good to me. Okay, good. Thank you. All right. Anything else that you need, you just call me back and I will come and help you. Okay. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Hi, guys. You needed some help? Yeah, with the number five. <laughs> we, are, we are not pretty sure about Okay. Um, we are not sure how to combine the secretary and the boss. Yeah. Actually, the first one is, it sounds good. The second one, no. Okay. And what about 
because you are trying to find which secretary the boss yeah likes. yeah is there any other uh, way to do that um or no um no and that's what okay. about the number one answer no that's that's, that's okay. the only answer I, as far as i i can see that's the only one mm -hmm. okay thanks teacher you're welcome and the other ones okay pardon me uh, the other ones are okay the oh. number one and two and three and four Teacher. Yeah. In the number four, is not necessary that we put the waitress who, who my brother dated with, was pretty good. No, it's not necessary to put with. In that no, 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 because you don't the 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 preposition with doesn't go with date. You don't date with. Okay. Someone. You you go okay. out with someone. You can do that. You can go out okay. with someone. Okay. Um, but I'm just actually, uh, looking at, the, See, there's a thing. Okay, yeah. Just be careful. You do not need a comma. Just be careful of eliminating the comma there. You don't need it because uh, that information is necessary to identify who we're talking about. So the whole thing there where it says, for example, the man who I reported to the police was arrested the was arrested is the, the verb and all of the thing before it is a subject we're identifying exactly which man right that's what are, which man are you talking about it's the man who i reported to the police okay, okay. so yeah everything else seems okay but uh just just that just that little detail okay okay Okay, so um, anything else? I'll be back. Okay, just call me back just like you did right now, and I'll be back. Okay. Okay. Hi, guys. You needed my help? Yes, teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. We have a tool with the number, with the number. Three, two and three. From which section? Relative pronouns as object. As objects, okay, two and as three. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the, the relative pronoun is in the mirror or at the end. Okay, mm -hmm. what you have to do is identify what is the part that identifies. And then you have to put that part directly after thing, the thing you are identifying. So in this case, in number two, what, what is the thing or who, who or, or what is the thing you are identifying? We identify the man. Exactly, we're identifying the man. So whatever you're going to do, identify, it has to be after the man. So the man, blah, 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 was arrested. We have to put a coma. 
Nope. No comma. No. No, no comma. Because okay. what is the only thing it's doing is giving me um, information to identify which man. It's not giving me extra information. It's giving me information to identify the man. Sounds mm, good? Okay. 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 Perfect. All right. You're welcome. Any other questions? Mm. No? Uh, in the three, uh, it's the same. The doctor, uh, uh, Seria, um, doctor, uh, who uh, was right about the problem. Okay. What are you at what are you what or who are you identifying? The doctor or Lucy? Uh, Lucy. Or or I, the problem. I think the object is the doctor. Exactly. We are identifying the doctor. We're saying which doctor are we talking about? So in that case, whatever you have, to, you're going to say is going to go directly after the doctor. Sounds good? Yes. Okay. All right. And we changed. So anything else? Um, just give me a call. I'm going to go around and, and uh, visit the other groups, but you can just call me back if you need it. Peter, we finished. Oh, perfect. Okay. We're going to go back to the main room in a moment. So just, just, um, just hang in there. And what you can do in the meantime is practice, continue talking to each other. Like the more you can expose yourself to the language, the better, right? So open up your microphones and just continue talking. Go ahead and talk uh, between the two of you. Okay. You will, you will tell us when we have to come back to the uh, main. Uh, you will get a message. Oh, okay. 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 So don't worry. Don't worry. You you will either you can either go, you can uh, manually go back, or wait till the to Zoom um, takes you back. Okay. So so either way you're gonna go back to the main room. So don't worry. All okay. Right? Thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys, um, <clears throat> how was your practice session? It was good. Okay, good. Did you guys understand how to use it or do you have any questions for me? No. No? Okay. All right. So you guys have already seen how we're going to be working here with the with the small groups. Um, so I'm going to be randomly choosing or better said, I'm randomly going to be picking uh, who's going to be in different groups. Sometimes you'll have small groups, sometimes yeah. be bigger groups. Um, but you have an opportunity there to um, have a chance to speak with your classmates. That's the idea. And we're going to always have different classmates so that you have an opportunity of speaking with different people um, and, you know, learning different vocabulary and so forth. Okay, so I'm going to quickly 
share my screen and quickly go over the answers. And let me know when you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Yeah, we can. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right, so we're going to start with relative pronouns as subjects. Remember this one? Um, this one is when the, the who, that, or which is the per, it's directly the subject, right? Um, so there's a, a verb after it. So it says, my sister has three children. My sister lives in Australia. So it would be my sister. If you notice, my sister is the main person that I'm giving information about. So because if you if you notice, it says here, my sister, and over here, it's also my sister. So I'm giving information about my sister, not about the three children. So it'd be something like my sister who lives in Australia or that lives in Australia. And we go back here, has three children. And just so that you're not, um, so that you're not uh, lost, I think I'm gonna write it down. It's gonna change the color. It's gonna be my sister. Who or that lives in Australia has the green children. And um, all of the sentences that we're going to be writing down, all of these ones um, are without a comma. Okay, so if you have a comma, it's incorrect. Over here, it, we're talking about the waiter, right? So if you notice, we have the word wait, the waiter here, and also waiter here. So that means that the waiter is the important thing that we are describing, we're giving information about. So it's going to say the waiter um, who or that. was wearing a blue shirt was rude. And so, and if you notice guys, um, I'm not putting this, I'm not putting the relative clause at the, at, the, at the end of the sentence. I'm actually putting it in the middle. And the reason is because I'm gonna put it directly after the thing or person I'm describing. In this case, I'm describing the waiter. So I have to put it after the waiter. I'm not going to put it after the word rude. I'm going to put it after the waiter. Okay. Then we have over here, um, the money is in the kitchen. The money belongs to John. So obviously here we're also um, talking about the money. That's the important thing because if you have, if you notice, Money is in both sentences. So we're going to say Sorry, no, our mistake. The money is 
There you go. Okay. So the money, which or that is in the kitchen, belongs to John. Okay. okay. And here we have, um, here if you notice, the important thing is the table. So we're going to be describing the table. So we're identifying which table are we talking about. Um, We can say the table that got or that or which, sorry. Which or that got broken was my grandmother's. All right, next it says the television was stolen. The television was about 20 years ago. Um, I was actually discussing um, I was actually discussing with uh, one of the groups that um, this one could actually go as follows. So there could actually be more than one answer. And this one would say, um, here we're describing the television, by the way, because the television is in both sentences. So we can say the television um, that or which was stolen, was bought 20 years ago. Or I could say the television um, which or that um, was bought 20 years ago was stolen. So, um, here it really doesn't matter, uh, because both sentences actually make sense. So the two forms are okay. Okay. So now here there's this one a little bit more complicated in the sense that here we have more than one subject. And it says the car was stolen, my father gave me the car. So this one would read, the car that or which my father gave me was stolen. We're not going to repeat the word the car because the car is replaced with the word that or which. Over here, we would say, um, Here we're describing the man, so it'd be the man who I, I'm sorry, who are that? Reported um, to the police 
was arrested. Okay. And um, here is the the doctor who Lucy um, asked about her problem. Right. Okay. And here, um, So it says a waitress, which or that um, my brother dated. Thank you. That my brother dated was very pretty. Oh, it's. It's saying, oh, I'm thinking. <laughs> okay. So it says, um, so basically it says the waitress, which or that my brother dated, was pretty. No, no, it's pretty, no. Proete or pret. Teacher? Yeah. Um, I think it's who, the waitress, who. Oh, yes, thank you. Thank you very much. You're absolutely right. Thank you. All right. Um, so yes, because the waitress is a woman. It's a person, in other words. And the last one, the secretary is in the office. The boss like the secretary. Here we're talking about the secretary. So we're getting information about her. So we're going to say the secretary. Um, who or that is in the office hold on oh no sorry my mistake it should say it like this it should say the boss likes the secretary The sister who who or that is in the office. That's what it should say. Okay, there you go. Any questions at this moment? No, it's clear now. Sorry, everything's clear. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I remember that you say something about uh, a description when we use the relative pronoun uh, as an object that you can eliminate relative pronoun. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's correct. So, yeah, but I, I don't have the clear idea in which case we can eliminate it. You know what, I, okay, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that, it, I'll answer that question in a moment. I just noticed something. This answer cannot be right because this is a relative pronoun as a subject, as an object. And if you notice, after who or that, we have the verb 
So this one actually is, a, this is not correct because if, if we left it like this, it would actually be as a subject. So I'm going to change it and I'm going to write like this. Um, Um, oh, wait a second. Secretary. Secretary. That is. Okay, hold on. The secretary. The secretary. In. The office is the one who or that the boss likes. There you go. The secretary is in the office is the one or who or that the boss likes. In that case, that would be, that would be correct because after uh, the relative pronoun, who or that, we have um, the word the boss, which is a noun, so that would be okay. Okay. All right, now uh, answering the question that was um, asked to me just a few moments ago um, about a, when we can eliminate, it basically we can eliminate with all of these ones. We can't eliminate with these ones because if you notice after, I'm actually going to change the color so you can see it a little bit better. So after the relative um, clause, sorry, the relative pronoun, um, who or that, it, we have a verb. If you notice, I'm going to I'm going to highlight all the, the relative pronouns, and you're going to notice that after all the ones that I am changing the color to blue, after all of them we have uh, a verb, not yeah. have a noun. We have a verb. Do you see that? Yeah. So we can't. So we can't. We can't. But in the case of these ones, the ones in the second section, you will notice that after the who or that or what, um, we use our person. Okay. So this is a noun. This is the, the relative. And after have a person. Do you see that? Yes. Okay, in all of them, we're gonna have just one person. And so that means that I have the option, not the obligation, that's very important. I have the option of eliminating the relative pronoun if I want to. Okay, so I can, if I want to, eliminate it and say, um, for example, with this one, I could say, the car my father gave me was stolen. I can say in this one, the man I reported to the police was arrested. I can say, the doctor Lucy asked about 
her problem was right. I can say here, the waitress my brother dated was very pretty. And here I can say the secretary in the office is, oh sorry, is the one, the one the boss likes. This should actually be red. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Yeah, no, now makes sense. Thanks. Makes sense, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So like I said, it's an it's a it's an option. It's not an obligation. But if you want, I can eliminate this. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. So that is going to be all for today. Um, I want to know how many of you have already started with the platform. I already started the platform. Okay. Okay. Um, guys, uh, in Zoom, if you go to where it says participantes, if you click on uh, participantes or participants, depends if you have it in English or Spanish, there is, it will open up and it gives you the option of raising your hand. Do you see that? Okay. Um, I want you to raise your hand. Yeah, thank you, Rafael. Exactly. Um, I want you to raise your hand if you have already started the platform. Okay. Uh, all right, um, Jose, you did a reaction, but you didn't. You didn't raise your hand. Um, it, it should be where it says uh, participants or participantes. It gives you the option. It says uh, levantar la mano or, or raise your hand. I don't know if it depends if you have in Spanish or in English. Okay, so so far I see that um, Andy, Rafael, Juan Manuel, Luis Enrique, Luis Mesa, Jose Romero, Oscar Reyes, Delmi Razo, and so far that's it. So those are the people that have started the platform. Uh, the others have not, is that correct? Everybody else that I did not mention, you have not started the platform? Yeah. Okay, so I see there are more. Okay, all right, so guys, I can't stress the importance of starting the, the platform on time. You don't wanna be rushing this at the very end. So I strongly, strongly, strongly suggest you start working on the platform and um, you can, you have the, the, thank you very much guys, excellent. Okay, you can uh, lower your, your, your hand. I strongly suggest that um, you start looking at the first part of the um, section 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, 1.4, and I think 1.5. Those are the, the sections that you can do already with the information we've seen in class where you cannot do it. And there are other parts that you don't need, um, like they're like listening parts that you don't need um, to have more explanation in class. So you can just go ahead and do it. Okay, so I would strongly suggest you start on that because there are five sections and you don't want to be um, doing it at last minute, okay? Okay, guys, um, what I'm gonna ask you guys to do for homework, I'm gonna give you um, some set beginning of sentences and I want you to, uh, you to finish them or with your own ideas. I, I want you to complete the sentence with your own ideas. Sounds good? Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. All right, guys. So that will be all for today. Um, it's great to see you guys. So once again, uh, I was, I'm happy to see uh, many of you and some of you that had connect yes, connected yesterday. So that's great. Um, just, uh, but I, I see that there are some people that are still missing. So um, anyways, guys, um, that's great. Anything that you need, uh, don't forget that you can write to me in the WhatsApp group. And as soon as possible, I will answer. Okay. All right, guys. So that will be okay. all for today. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.
Have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.